Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys how to install Ubuntu Linux on a virtual box. A virtual box is a virtualization software that allows you to create virtual computers on your existing computer. So for example, if you have a Windows 7 computer like I do, you can install VirtualBox on it like any other program. In fact, if you look at my desktop, you will see that I have the Oracle VirtualBox installed on my computer. Okay? So inside of the VirtualBox, when you go inside this guy, you can install any operating system that you want. So in this case, we will install Ubuntu Linux right on this guy. So let's get the files we need and accomplish this mission right away. All right, the first file that you need is VirtualBox. Okay, so go to www.virtualbox.org and then go to Downloads. In the Downloads section, download the version of the VirtualBox that is for your system. So I have a Windows computer, therefore I'm going to download the VirtualBox for Windows. If you have a Mac, download the one for OS X. So click this link and it's going to start downloading right away. I'm not going to download because I already have the VirtualBox installed on my computer. Now the next file that you're going to need is the actual Ubuntu Linux uh, ISO file. So go to uh, www.ubuntu.com and on the left, I'm sorry, the right corner here, you'll see download. And then click desktop and it's going to give you two options. You can either get Ubuntu 12.04 or Ubuntu 13.04. Now I'm just going to go with this one because I'm not going to I'm not going to need long term support. Now if you look at it carefully, 12.04 gives you long term support until 2017. The 13.04 only gives you support for 9 months. So I'm not going to keep this. I'm just going to play with it. So I'm going to download this one because I'd like to see some of the latest features they're talking about. So I'm going to get the 64-bit, and this is, carefully read that, it says for newer machines. So if you have a newer machine, which means anything 2010 or plus, then you're fine. So get that one, click download, and your download is going to start. Okay, again, I already have that file, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to my desktop, and we are going to start the installation process once your files are downloaded. Okay, so let's go to my downloads folder here, and here's the virtual box, and here's the Ubuntu file, and this has to be an ISO image. Now, all you have to do is double click this, and you have to start the installation process, and then follow this through all the way to the end, and when you're done, what you're going to have is you're going to have the virtual box for Windows. Now, let's uh, minimize this and start virtual box. Now the first thing you want to do before you install any operating system inside of VirtualBox is you have to click New. That means we're going to create a brand new virtual computer. Okay? So you can give it a name. I'll give it a name, Ubuntu Linux. And as you give it the name, it actually picks the type and the version of the operating system automatically. Okay? So then you can click Next. And then it's saying that the memory size that you want to allocate should be 512 megabytes. You can always go with the defaults and you'll be safe. So click next. And then it says create a virtual hard drive. So you want to make sure that you have a hard drive before you can install an operating system. So again, we're going to be using a virtual hard drive and the recommended size of the hard drive is 8 gigs. So click create and then just pick the, the, the option all the way on the top that says VirtualBox Disk Image. And then click Next. And then you have the option to pick dynamically allocated or fixed size. Just uh, click Fixed Size. So that's going to create a fixed 8 gigs of file size for your installation. Click Next. And then this is a summary. So you're giving the name Ubuntu Linux to your operating system to your new virtual computer and then you're gonna allocate 8 gigs and then you can click create okay so this is actually creating the virtual hard drive right now so that's gonna take a couple minutes here ok 
Okay, so we're almost done. And then what you're going to see over here is you're going to see your new virtual machine has been created. It's called Ubuntu Linux and currently it's powered off. Okay, so let's uh, highlight this, right click on it and choose settings. And you'll find yourself with this setting box right here. So uh, you can ignore everything and you can go straight to storage. Okay, when you're in storage, if you look down here, this is the virtual hard drive that you just created so you can leave these two things alone so go go up here and click this plus symbol okay and then click choose disk and then what you want to do is you want to navigate to the downloads folder where you have your Ubuntu ISO image okay so click that and open it now this is actually mounted onto your virtual computer just when you pop in a CD or a DVD in your real computer this is the same thing so it's like you just popped the Ubuntu uh, Linux CD in your virtual computer okay once you have this uh, exactly like this click OK actually quickly go back into your settings here and uh, when you go to system I want you to make sure that you actually increase the RAM that we allocated in the beginning and bump it up to like one gigs or two gigabytes if you have a lot of memory like as you can see I have 16 gigs of RAM so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give Ubuntu Linux uh, two gigs okay and then go to the processor and if, if you have a quad core processor make sure you allocate two CPUs to your virtual machine and you don't have to worry about this it's not going to destroy your normal operations okay and then go to acceleration and these are both uh, checked which is perfect then go to display and make sure 3d acceleration is enabled and also the video memory max it out as much as you can now I have a high high-end graphics card so I can easily afford this I think my graphics card is 3 gigabytes DDR5 RAM so I can assign as much as this is only 128 megabytes of video memory so I can afford this so make sure you can afford the uh, video memory that you're assigning over and then max it out as much as possible and again make sure the processors are also if you, if you assign two processors you're gonna have smooth operation okay and the motherboard options are fine and then general perfect so now you can click OK and then you can actually go ahead and start the system so here's your Ubuntu Linux system click start that is the same thing as powering on a real physical computer okay so click that and this is going to take you into the setup screen okay so let me just maximize that Okay, so the Ubuntu is loading. It takes a couple um, seconds there. You can actually ignore that error. If you see this kind of error, you can just ignore it for now. Okay, so you have two options. You can actually try Ubuntu without installing Ubuntu. Isn't that amazing? Or you can just install Ubuntu on the virtual box, on the virtual machine that we created. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's um, select our language, English, unless you speak Katala, and then uh, click Install. okay and then you you do meet the requirements and you can download the updates if you want let's just skip that for now and keep this simple okay so on on click everything here and just click continue 
and then it says erase disk and install Ubuntu and that's exactly what you want to do click install now okay and then uh, pick your time zone and you can just click on the map somewhere here okay so New York is for me click continue okay and then key uh, you can actually detect your keyboard or you can just pick it yourself so I, I have the English uh, keyboard with the English layout click continue okay so give uh, give yourself a name Saki tech okay and you can pick a password if you want I'm not gonna pick a password um, no, you do have to pick a password. So just log me in automatically and pick a password. Saki Tech. Saki Tech. Okay, the passwords do match. Then you can click continue. All right, and so now the installation process is actually happening. So it's saying copying files, almost finished. so I had to go ahead and fast forward everything all the way to the end because it takes a while okay but nothing happens in between other than the, this bar moving forward okay so this orange bar keeps moving forward the whole time okay so once you're done you're gonna see this box it says installation is complete you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation so just click restart now okay so once you're logged in uh, you'll see this uh, Ubuntu desktop which is a standard and if you look carefully you'll see things like Firefox and you'll see a document uh, editor so if you um, this is just like Microsoft Office it's called LibreOffice and it's free so here's a spreadsheet um, program and here's a presentation program and here's the settings for the computer so if you click the settings you'll see things like appearance if you click appearance you can go ahead and you can change the background of your Ubuntu desktop so let's uh, pick this one right here and exit out okay and then on the top here you've got the power button if you click that you can log out you can shut down it tells you who's logged in you can lock your system and you can click about this computer and then it's going to tell you the device name okay and then you can look at your graphics okay so some of these things are going to look like they're nothing special because they're adapters that were plugged in by VirtualBox okay but um yeah you can launch Firefox and mine is acting up a little slow so it's not a big deal though okay so once you're here you can actually go to any website as usual okay so this is a fully functional virtual computer at your fingertips on your Windows 7 computer you're running a virtual machine and in your virtual machine you've got Ubuntu Linux running okay so let's uh, go ahead and shut off this computer so press that power button and click shut down and then you can click this again and we are out of uh, out of business okay so uh, we're back into our regular virtual box so remember this is a virtualization software it virtualizes actual computer systems okay and uh, thanks for watching this video and give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and I'll see you the next time